some surprising, unexpected breaking news on this Thursday to share with you here in Hawkeye Nation. More on the news of Josh Ogundale returning to the Iowa Hawkeyes in a moment. But first, a reminder, please hit the subscribe button on this video. Below the video, please hit the like button for this video as well. If you want to sponsor the show, you know how to reach out to me from the eye of the storm at outlook.com. That's from the eye of the storm at outlook.com. Also want to thank our sponsor for this video, Josue Alvarez over at Dewey Ford down in Ankeny. Do he treat you better? He do. Josue will serve you for whatever car needs you have, whether they be used or new car purchasing needs. Call him 515-776-1068. He will treat you better. And if you buy a car through Josue and you mention that from the Hawkeye of the Storm sent you, you will get a $100 Casey's gas card with any car purchase, as long as you mentioned from the Hawkeye of the Storm sent you to Josue. So appreciate Josue sponsoring this video and the big news here in Hawkeye Nation, and it just broke moments ago. Thankfully, I was uh, available to uh, produce this video on the spot. Iowa Center, or what we thought to be a former Iowa Center, Josh Agundale, exiting the transfer portal and returning to Iowa, announcing it via Twitter. I did contact, reach out to Josh um, personally, and he confirmed this, that he is returning to Iowa City to be a Hawkeye. Now, what do we make of this? I know there's been a little bit of mixed response on Twitter. Does this mean that that Iowa's not going to be landing a big man in the transfer portal? I guess you could technically say they just did with Ogundale exiting the transfer portal. But, of course, we know Iowa has been in hard on Fardaz Amac, who's maybe the highest touted center in the country in the portal this year. They were also uh, rumored to be interested in Trey Mitchell, big man from Texas, former UMass Minuteman. Um, so that is a concern right now, right? I mean, if you look at the situation as it stands now, you got Riley Mulvey and Josh Agundale as true bigs returning this year. Again, no reason to think Riley's decision has changed. The last time I spoke with Riley here about a month ago, he was very happy here in Iowa City. Um, and of course, we know in 2023, a very talented big guy in Owen Freeman. Now, could Freeman play more of the four? He's six foot ten. I see him more of a five as a five at, at the college level, especially in 2022 college hoops. So does this mean that Iowa swung and missed? I don't know. I, I really don't want to speculate either way. Um, I know there hasn't been a whole lot of positive rumors as it relates to Fardaz AMAC. Last I knew there was still no uh, visit scheduled to Iowa City for AMAC. Um, he had visits scheduled other places, including Texas Tech. Trey Mitchell hadn't heard much. I know John Rothstein um, had reported that Iowa had been in contact with Trey Mitchell. Iowa had also contacted a kid from Wazoo who com- who quickly eliminated Iowa from his list. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump to the conclusion that that Fran failed in the portal. Um, there's obviously things out there that we don't know, right? The coaching staff, Fran knows more than than we know. Now here's the only real viable explanation that I can come up with, uh, besides the fact that perhaps. Um, Fran swung and missed on Fardaz AMAC, and we're just not hearing that yet, or they just don't feel their chances are great with AMAC, and they really don't like anybody else in the portal. Perhaps Courtney Eldridge getting promoted as one of the three main assistants helps, because we know Eldridge very involved in the Boston area. Um, I don't know this for a fact, but my guess is that Eldridge is very involved in Josh Agundale's recruitment. He may be very close to Josh, so perhaps that... um, made Josh feel like, hey, let's give this another shot. Now, Iowa would have had to take him back. Once you enter the portal, Iowa, Fran has to say, yeah, we want you back. So there's a reason on both sides. But looking at the positives here, here's a guy who knows the program. He's got size. We know he provides defense. He's got to get in shape, right? We know that. So my my thinking on this is he's going to get in shape, right? <laughs> that there, I would think that Fran and this staff, that, that they're confident at this point that Josh Agundale is going to be in shape in November, because I don't know why you would take a guy back who's not ready to play at this point, because they need a big guy, right? Now, maybe they'll go out and get a, another guy in the transfer portal. I just have a hard time seeing Iowa taking three, basically three seven-footers with another almost seven-footer coming in in 2023. But we'll wait and see. They've got the scholarships. They've got a couple scholarships still available. Let's wait and see what they do. Um, but again, the news today at this hour, Iowa Center... Josh Agundale, who had entered the portal earlier this spring, has now exited the portal and will return to Iowa. More on this news. Um, If it breaks, stick right here. 
from the Hawkeye of the Storm on YouTube for the latest around Hawkeye Nation.